Here's an uh, integration question, and it tells us to use integration by parts to show that the following integral is this answer here. Okay, so it's nice in the sense that we know what we're working towards. Let's use integration by parts. Let's decide what's my u and my v. If that was my u and that was my v dashed, can I differentiate u? Yes, I can. Can I integrate ln x? Well, it's actually, I could, but it's not one of the standard ones that I'm supposed to know or is in the formula booklet, and it's not particularly easy uh, also. So I'm not going to choose them that way around. I'm going to choose them. I'm going to make that be my u and that be my v dash. Can I differentiate this? I certainly can. It's 1 over x. Can I integrate this? I can. It's a half x squared. Now, write down uh, your u and your v as working. So u is equal to ln x. So u dashed is 1 over x. v dashed is equal to uh, x. So v is equal to a half x squared. Make sure you write this working down here. There's usually two marks or so for this. Then state the rule you're going to use. You're using integration by parts, which is given in the formula booklet. It says the integral of u v dashed is equal to u multiplied by v subtract the integral of u dashed v. Now it's just a substitution game. The integral between 1 and 2, therefore, of x ln x is u times v, which would be these two multiplied together. So it's a half x squared ln x, and you're going to work that out between 1 and 2, and you're subtracting uh, u dashed v, these two multiplied together, which would be a half the integral of just single x between 1 and 2, because a half x squared, take the half out, x squared times 1 over x is just x with respect to x. Now, let's substitute that in. That would be a half times 4 times ln 2, which is 2 ln 2. Subtract what the answer when you put 1 in, which is going to be 0. So it looks like we've got a 2 ln 2, right? And then it's going to be, actually integrate this would be half x squared, so it's going to be negative a quarter x squared. So I'm just going to put the brackets around this here and put 2 and 1 in. So we've got 2 ln 2 here. And we've integrated this, so it's subtract a quarter. What happens when you put 2 in? You get 4. What happens when you put 1 in? You get 1. So it's therefore 2 ln 2 subtract 3 quarters. And that's exactly what we were looking for in the question. So we're done for an easy 6 marks.